I'm going to show you how to use the Free Library of Philadelphia's OverDrive webpage to borrow and place holds on ebooks. If you are planning to read these books on a Nook or any e-reader other than a Kindle, you should already have the associated software, Adobe Digital Editions, installed and authorized on your home computer. From the Free Library of Philadelphia's main page, www.freelibrary.org, click on the pink box that says Download Media. Then click on Overdrive. A new page or tab will open. This is the Free Library's Overdrive web page where you can manage your account, search for books, or browse by format, subject, or age level. The search box in the top right hand corner can be used for quick searches of all items. One important tip is to use quotation marks if you know the exact author or title. This will give you much better results. You also have the option to do an advanced search. Here you can limit your search by format, availability, publisher, or even search by award winners. I'm going to search for the author Jasper Ford. And here's the results list. You can tell quickly what format the book is in and if it's available by looking at the top right hand corner on each book cover. A set of headphones means it's an audiobook, and a book means it's an ebook. If the icon is black, the book is available, and if it's grayed out, it's already checked out to someone else and you'll have to put a hold on it. As you can see, the air affair is grayed out, so it's not currently available. But let's select it anyway and see what we can do. This is the detail page of the book. Here you can see how many copies the library has, how many are checked out, and how many people are in line. To place a hold, all you need to do is click on the Place a Hold button. If you are not already logged in, you are now asked to log in with your library card and PIN number. Once you're logged in, you can set which email address you want to use to be notified when the hold is available. When your hold becomes available, you will be emailed a notification and you will have three days to log in and download the book. You can now see the book on your holds lists and you can always come back and see where you are in line. Now, let's go back to the results list and check out a book that's currently available. Here's an omnibus of Jasper Ford's novels. Let's borrow this one. Always check in the right hand corner of the detail page. It will tell you which formats are available. Click on borrow. Again, if you're not already logged in, you will be asked to do so now with your card number and PIN. The book now shows up on your bookshelf. You can download it now, or if you checked it out in error, you can return it before downloading. To download the book, click on download, select the format you want to check out, and then confirm and download. The book will now download to your computer and open in the Adobe Digital Edition software which is already installed on your computer. From there, you can transfer the book to your e-reader and begin reading.